The encyclopedia tells us the viper is a poisonous snake. So deadly that tough 305s on the rear wheels beg for mercy. Fat, black and mean, the slit eyes send a message out of my way. Long hood, short but robust back end, the exhaust outlets in front of the 19-inch rear wheels. The rear view, daunting, wide, wider, widest. In comparison, the tail of a Porsche seems almost tame. Inside, hard work for the driver, the only switch that's easy to operate is the starter button. The rest call for a firm hand. The seats are made for long journeys. 8.3 litres displacement, 10 cylinders, maximum revs twice as high as those of a GT3 Porsche. Air filters like two lungs. The air box gets its cooling flow directly from the front. OK, time to get on board and fire her up. The Viper has an image problem. Comes across as the perfect pimp mobile. The appropriate sunglasses are therefore absolutely essential for the driver of a car like this. <laughs> But the Viper is now more. In comparison with the earlier model, the new one is much better behaved and can be driven to the limit. It keeps its promises. The would-be snake charmer should have some experience with the characteristics of rear-wheel driven autos and a careful right foot particularly when the power output is not exactly that of the standard version and the performance data makes your hair stand on end. The standard version has 500 horsepower. Geiger Performance takes the classic naturally aspirated motor and tunes it with camshaft modification and adjustment to the cylinder heads, larger intakes and a special exhaust system. It gives another 150 horsepower, so we reach 650 in all and you can feel every one of them. In third gear, the tuned Viper has all the push you'd get in most cars in first gear. Traction control? Not here. Only in fourth gear can you call on full power, otherwise the back end gets nervous. If the driver is not up to it, he should stay away from the Viper, definitely. This snake has a bite. You don't want to be its victim. When we took our serpent out on the Saxon ring, we were fortunate to come away unscathed. Motor tuning, exhaust system and coilover suspension cost about 25,000 euros over and above the 90,000 purchase price. Maybe you need a few more girls working for you. <laughs> <laughs> 